first you want to start out doing your foundation just as you normally would. Jamie used the uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. And then you go in with some contour because we want to look glam. I used uh, one of the orange eyeshadows as the blush for this since it's like a pumpkin look. Now we want to create an eyeshadow look that will look Instagram worthy. So you start with a base color, Hydrate. And then you want to go in with a transition color, preferably an orange color, and then deepen that up with a darker orange color. And then you just want to deepen out the outer corners with a black or dark brown color. Here I went in with a gold highlight from the TARDIS Pro Palette. Taking a liquid eyeliner, I cre created a dramatic, <laughs> a dramatic wing. Then I went in with Nectar in the Peach Palette. It's a really shimmery, peachy color to finish off the eye look. Just pop, off, pop on some fake eyelashes and you'll be done with the glam part of this look. Then you just want to take a little bit of alcohol and wipe off where you're going to be doing the mouth. Then I took the Jumbo NYX Pencil and Milk and outlined where I was going to do the jack-o'-lantern mouth. You're going to want to start on a small area and use an adhesive like Spirit Gum or Prosade. If you use Spirit Gum, you need to tap it to activate it. It will not work if you don't tap it first. Then take Scar Wax and roll it into a little worm-like shape to fit the one corner of the mouth. And then rub it in with some Vaseline to smooth it out. And you can use a tool to make the edge more sharp. And you basically want to do this all the way around the rest of the mouth. Then take some liquid latex when you're done and cover the whole outside of the mouth where you put the uh, scar wax. After the latex is dried and become clear, go ahead and take your foundation that you already used and cover the latex and the um, scar wax to make it match your skin. After you've done the foundation, take a translucent powder and powder where you just did the foundation so that it looks less shiny and more like skin. Take a brush and get an orange color. I had to mix the red and the yellow to make orange and paint inside the mouth. Make sure to get in all the crevices so that you don't have any skin color showing through. Then take a little bit of brown and black and outline the deeper edges of it and the mouth part so that uh, the lips don't show. Okay, almost done. Take some Ben Nye scab blood or any type of thick gel blood and paint inside of the mouth with the blood. Then I just took a toothbrush and some stage blood. You could use a stippling sponge, but I just went around the mouth with the blood. I just wanted to make it a lo look a little bit more gory. And then you're done. <laughs> 